How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily customize the buttons on your Astra themed WordPress website. Astra 3.7 just launched with a brand new button presets feature and it lets you swap out your button designs in just a single click. So let's check it out. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'm Yaz from the Astra team and we create content about our latest product updates as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. If you guys are ready, let's get started. Here I am on my demo WordPress website and I've got one of the Astra starter templates installed. This template is for an ebook author and I chose this one specifically because it has a lot of buttons we can work with. On screen right now, you'll see all the buttons that come default with the template. These are already professionally designed by our amazing design team. But if you want to try out a different design or get a feel of what else it could look like, the new button preset feature can help you with that. If you want to check out our other brand new features in Astra 3.7, you can watch our update announcement video where we give you an overview of all these new features. All right, to use the button presets feature, you have to go into the customizer menu up here. And now on our customizer, let's navigate into global, the first one here, and then click on buttons. This is the Astra buttons menu within the customizer. And our brand new buttons preset feature is right at the top here. These six buttons you see here. These are all presets. Each one is different from one another. The top row are all filled in buttons, while the buttons on the bottom row all have outlines rather than a filled in color. And for each type, you have a varying button radii. You have the box corner ones like these two, semi rounded corners like these, and you also have fully rounded buttons like these two on the end. Okay, before we try the new button presets, take note of how the buttons look like right now. And now, if you're ready, let's go ahead and change this into one of the fully rounded buttons right here. And as you can see, clicking on this preset button here, it's automatically gone ahead and changed all the buttons on our page from the default design to this preset right here with the rounded corners. And that looks really cool. Now I'm going to change it into the semi rounded one here. And boom, there you have it. And again, the sharp corners. There you go. It changes in just a single click and changes all the buttons on our website. Now let's try out the buttons that are not fully filled in. These are the ones that just have an outline around the button. If I click that one here, you can see it's changed the design. But right now, the text color is actually set to white. So it's currently not showing up that nicely. So if we go ahead here and change that into a black, you can see that it's now showing up perfectly. And again, I'm going to change it from the boxed design to the semi rounded corner one. And again, to the fully rounded one. And there you have it. Switching between button designs can't get much easier than this, right? And of course, if you have a preset like this and still want to modify it even further, you can do just that. All you have to do is look down here and you see all the options you get to customize the buttons even further. You can adjust the border width right here, the border color, and you can even adjust the border radius down to the exact pixel. And as you can see here, when I slide it across, you can see it changing live on your website. And that's awesome. I'm going to click that here again. And coming back to the colors, of course, you can go ahead and adjust the text color like we did before. You have your default color we see here that we changed. You can also add a hover color. This means that when we hover over the button, it changes into that color. Right now it's set to clear, which is why it's changing into like a clear color you see here. But let's go ahead and adjust that. And of course, you have your global color palette here. If you want to find out more about the global color palette, we have a separate video about that, which I'll link to you in the top right of your screen right now. So once you assign a global color, it will show up here and you can pick that. And once we hover over the button, you can see that it's now blue and that has now become our new button default. So it happens everywhere that we have a button on our web page. And next we have our background color. This is talking about the fill color of the button. And right now we have our outline preset right here. I'm going to switch it back into one here and I'm going to change this as well. So right now our text color is black. So I'm going to change that to white so we can see it like that. And then I'm also going to change the background color now. So when we hover over the button, it's going to change to a different color. I'm just going to change it to something like a gray, like that. So right now our fill color is the black and our hover color is a gray. So if I hover over this, you can see that the button changes into a gray with a blue text inside. And you can modify this however you like. You can add your global colors. And this gives you a lot of options to design the buttons exactly how you want it for your website. And then if you want to go a step further and have a different design on a specific button, you can do that as well. 
For example, if you wanted this read more button here to look different from the rest of these buttons here, you can do that. But to make that change, we have to do that through our page builder. And right now for this particular website, I'm using Elementor. And here I am on my home page once again. And you can see the buttons that we created earlier have all taken effect within Elementor as well. So if I wanted to adjust this specific button right here, you can do that just by clicking edit. And then you go into the style menu up here. And you see over here, you can modify this particular button, the text color, the background, the color. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and change it up a little bit. So I'm going to click on here. And what's really cool is if you scroll down, you can see all the nine global colors that I showed you before as well. So you can go ahead and choose those if you'd like to. For now, I'm just going to pick this green color here just to give it a bit of contrast. And as you can see, it's only affected this one button right here. And it's left the rest of the buttons as we've designed them in the customizer. So the design that you created in your customizer becomes your default button style. And anything we adjust on top using our page builder is only going to be applied to that specific button. So what's really important to remember is if you load up a starter template and one button looks different from the rest of the buttons when you change it, that's because some adjustments have been made to the button using your page builder. So in that case, you'd have to go into your page builder, find the button that's different and modify the settings here and turn all of these off so that this button adapts the same design as the rest of the buttons on your website. And the same basics apply if you're using Gutenberg's block editor as well. Here we are on the same template, but this time with Gutenberg's block editor rather than Elementor. And we have our read more button here. And if we want to change this and customize it to look different from the rest of the buttons, you can do so by clicking on it. And the right hand side, you have all the settings here. You can adjust the border radius. You can change the color down here. And again, we have access to all our global colors from Astra. It's really cool. I'm just going to change the background color to the blue here. And you can see that this button itself, only this button has changed and it's different from the rest of the buttons on the website. You just have to remember that any changes you make to a button design in your block editor will sit on top of your default button settings, including the button presets you made on your customizer. And if you want this button to show the exact same design as the rest of the buttons, all you have to do is make sure this button doesn't have any effects applied within the page builder. For example, right here, we're just going to reset this here. And with color, we're going to set it to clear. That's all you have to do. And the button should now look like the rest of the buttons that you've created in your customizer. And that's how our new button presets feature works. Comment down below and let me know which one of these preset designs you're most excited to try out. And that's it for this video. But before you click away, please leave a like down below if you got value from this video. Click on our logo over here to subscribe. Or you can even check out even more of our content by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.